All right, so th this is gonna be a tutorial showing you guys how to edit the Unity assets for specifically Monster Sanctuary is the game I'm going to be using, but you can actually apply this to many other Unity Engine games, as long as they're on Unity Engine 5. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is uh, you're gonna need a program that can open zip files. I recommend using WinRAR, it's free. Um, this is a trial version from their website, but the trial does not run out, so you can use it indefinitely. Um, anyway, if you just Google search WinRAR, um, it's W-I-N-R-A-R, you'll get a link to rarlab.com, you can go to their downloads page, um, whether you want 32-bit or 64-bit, whatever language you want. Um, but you're going, you're going to need this. The second thing you're going to need is uh, UABE Unity Assets Bundle Extractor. Okay. And I will try to remember to put a link to this down in the description of the video. But if I don't, this is what it's called. And uh, if you Google search it, this will be the first result. Um, anyway, on this page, there's a link to... Uh, the seven days to die forums is the actual main project page for this so you're going to want to click on this and it'll take you here to this page scroll down and then down here it'll say releases and uh, there's 32-bit and 64-bit ones with a couple mirrors for their downloads click on either one so it's only like four megabytes that'll download and uh, okay, so once you're on here, just go ahead, click download. Then once it, once it's done loading up here, you'll actually see it in the bottom left in your browser. Yeah, here it is. Okay. So now, once you have WinRAR installed, it'll associate these .zip files with WinRAR. If it doesn't, um, you would just right-click, um, go to the folder, and then you would right-click it and do Open with WinRAR. Or if it doesn't show up here, go down here to Open With, and either click WinRAR from here or search for wherever WinRAR is installed on your computer. So then in here, all these files and uh, folders, just go ahead and select them all. And to extract out of here, um, you can either go up here to extract to or uh, what I find the easiest is uh, just a drag and drop so once they're selected drag them over into your folder now they're in here and the, and the one we're, we're actually going to uh, To want to click on is the one that says asset bundle extractor.exe near the top. And uh, so you, you can go ahead, double click on this, and it'll open this window. Now, before we get further into this, we need to go get our files that we're actually going to be modifying. So, the easiest way to navigate there, you can navigate through the file explorer. But if you already have the game installed on Steam, um, for example, in this situation we're using Monster Sanctuary, the easiest way to get there is actually to go to your Steam library, right click on the game, go down to properties, and then two tabs over on the top it says local files. Go ahead and click that. And it'll say browse local files as the first option. Go ahead and click that. 
Okay, so now we're actually in the Monster Sanctuary data folder. And you're going to want to uh, most likely back up your data in case you corrupt something or change something and you want to easily revert it. So um, you can just right click, hit copy, you know, paste an extra one in here. And um, that alone is good enough, but I recommend you rename it just so you know it's a backup. But uh, anyway, once you're in here and you have the file path down. So for me, this is what it is. This is my file path, but um, it could be different for you. I have multiple Steam libraries, so they're pretty spread out. And the file we actually want out of here that we're going to be modifying, uh, we're going to be modifying uh, the file that contains the image for the main character. And that's actually going to be located down in an assets file called shared assets zero dot assets. So this one right here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, make a copy of this. I'm gonna put it right here in the desktop just for ease. Then we're gonna come back over here to the Unity Assets Bundle Extractor, that program I had you download earlier. So now you're gonna to go to File, Open, and then you're gonna to navigate to wherever you decided to copy this file to. Select it, click Open. Okay, now that we're in here, you'll see a bunch of different file names. And uh, different types. These are transform, there's game objects, sprites, audio clips, materials. The one we want is a texture. And to find it, go up to view and then click search by name. And the one we're looking for is Atlas Zero. Now, if you just type in Atlas, it's very specific. It'll say no result found. You have to type it in exactly. So Atlas Zero. All right, and you'll actually notice there are a lot called Atlas Zero in here, and they're all two texture 2Ds. So here's one, here's two more, and so on. There's like a dozen here. But the one we're looking for has a path ID of 55. If you want to quickly skip to the next Atlas Zero in your search query, just press F3 on your keyboard and you'll jump down to the next one in the list. Which coincidentally, the second one here is the one with a path ID of 55. So it'll say it in this tab and it'll also say it over here on the right. So this is the one we want. Go down to plugins. Then there's three options. We want the second one that says export to .png. Click OK. And now it's going to have us save the uh, PNG file we're extracting. We're going to go ahead and call this. There we go. And save it. Just here for ease. All right. So that placed up there. So now if we go ahead and open this, you'll see that it's actually the sprite page that the game uses. This is an actual usable file for us now. And out of these, um, I, I, I've already modified, I guess, my current version of the game. You can see a green palette on our main character here. Um, your main character is split up throughout this giant page here. He's sort of all over the place. But uh, there's another one that looks similar to the main character here with the gray outfit, but you're gonna wanna edit each of these with the red outfit and the yellow trim normally.
and to edit these um hopefully you you have a image editing software on your computer if not um you need one that can support transparency so regular paint will probably not work i would recommend either using paint.net which is free and it's what i use or gimp uh, it's g-i-m-p gimp is another free photo editing software so then once you open it in here you can see where everything is and it's okay to uh create new layers etc if you don't want to directly edit the image just remember to flatten the entire thing and save it as a png file once you're done you see i, I i'm just gonna quickly um uh, edit this so that you can see that um, we, we can actually change it and use it in game so I'll be right back all right so we're back um, I have the main character now changed to have a teal and blue outfit on and we're gonna go ahead and try to put this back inside the game files now so you can actually see your effort in the game so once again, when you save it, make sure that uh, it's saved as a .png and that you've also flattened the image to the one. It, it should prompt you when you're saving it as such. But uh, then if, if you don't have your window still up and you've closed it, you'll need to go back in, search for Atlas Zero with the path ID of 55. Um, Otherwise, we're just going to go right back into here, find that file, and go back down to plugins a second time now. Only this time, instead of clicking export to .png, we're going to go to the third option that says edit. Click OK. And we're going to skip, just leave everything else as it currently is. Don't edit any of these windows. Just go down to the bottom where it says texture, and there's a button you can click that says load. Go ahead and click that. And uh, go ahead and click on the edited image you made for this. Click open down here in the bottom right. And it will have selected it. Just go ahead and click OK. Now it's in here but we still need to save. So go ahead, go up to file, save, and if you try to save it as the currently opened file, which is shared assets dot zero or zero dot assets, uh, you're going to get this message. Already exists, do you want to replace it? So you click yes. However, it says warning cannot open the file for writing. And you're going to keep getting this error. So to get past this, go ahead, go to file, save, and um, we're just going to write the word temp. You, you can write whatever you want. Just name it something else for the time being. All right. Now when you click save, it will actually continue and save the file and generate it here wherever you've decided to save it. Now you're going to want to go ahead and close. Now here, here is the one without our save. So you can actually, assuming this is a copy and you didn't move it, delete it. So here's our new one, and we're gonna rename it back to the original file name, which is shared assets zero dot assets. Now that this is in here, go ahead and copy this and go back to your Monster Sanctuary data folder. You can right click, go paste, and it'll prompt you to replace it. Go ahead and do so. Now it's in here. And th this is why I recommended making a backup so you actually have the pure file saved elsewhere. Now, We should be able to actually go in game 
and you'll see it displayed. Alright, so continue. As you'll see, my character is the teal one that we edited now. So, if you've done all these steps and it's worked, you will actually see it on the preview screen here before you load it up. And of course, now we're in here. All the animations work. Let's see the koi, that's what I'm looking for. But, uh... Yeah, if, if you have any more questions regarding how it works, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, this is as far as I've experimented with it. If you want to know how to change anything else like monsters or um, any of the actual level design, um, I would have to make something updated for that later. But Thanks for watching, guys.